Thank you very much, Mr. Macero. And first of all, I sincerely want to thank the Mass Medical Society uh, for allowing Devin and putting this uh, together and having some words with all of you young athletes today. Thank you to the Mass Medical Society. And a special thank you, obviously, to Devin McCourty, who any of you who watched the ball game last night, or maybe it was too late for you to watch the game, I'm not sure. <laughs> But uh, if you watch what Devin did in terms of stripping the ball from LaShawn McCoy last night, I think that was one of the key But for those of you who may not know a whole lot about him, Devin is really regarded, first of all, as probably one of the best players at his position in the NFL. But in addition to that, and probably even more importantly, he's also known as a guy who's a great citizen and who's out there talking to many kids in the communities and whatnot. And I have to thank him for all he does for the people of Massachusetts. Thank you, Devin. <laughs> and welcome to all the uh, student athletes. As Mr. Macero has, has mentioned, congratulations to the seventh and eighth grade football teams. And I'd like you to stand up here today. And, uh, <laughs> Congratulations. All right, you can sit down now, thank you. And congratulations and best wishes, obviously, to the high school uh, team. We wish you the best of luck on, on Thursday, and obviously to Coach uh, Driscoll as, as, as well. As some of you may know, one of the major issues that we're dealing with in the state right now, and especially at the State House, has to do with uh, substance abuse. And as I travel across Massachusetts, I can see that it's a problem in every single city and town of this Commonwealth. I always hear stories about especially young people who have died because of overdoses. So it's one of the most important issues that, that we have to deal with. And substance abuse takes a lot of different forms, a lot of different ways that people can get involved with addiction. One of those uh, forms happens to be athletes who are injured and have to take painkillers. I think we've all read stories or heard on the news about issues that athletes have had. Anywhere at the high school level, I've heard it, the college level, and the professional level as well. So we felt that this was such an important issue for you folks who are the athletes now and will be hopefully for some years to come. One of those people, by the way, who has stepped up and been very active in terms of talking about this issue uh, around the state and beyond has been the president of the Mass Medical Society. And I personally want to thank him for his efforts and to thank the Medical Society for their efforts. But he's going to say a couple of words and he'll introduce uh, Devin McCourty. Please welcome the president of the Mass Medical, Dr. Dennis Dimitri. So what a great day, huh? You guys are going to have some fun getting to hear from Devin McCourty in a minute, so I, I'll try not to be too long because I know you'd probably rather hear from him. Um, as, uh, as the speaker said, uh, I'm a physician and I'm the president of the Massachusetts Medical Society. Um, so I want to ask a couple questions. Uh, anybody out there want to be a doctor someday in the future? Okay, I see a few hands go up. I'm glad to see that. Um, anybody out there prefer to play for the Patriots someday? Uh, a few more hands, okay, all right. So I know where I stand with this crowd. Um, so as, as the speaker said, there's an issue um, here in Massachusetts and unfortunately across the whole United States with young people and, uh, and abuse of drugs and addiction. 
really scary problems. And I'm, I'm sure all of you have uh, had, many of you maybe, have had the unfortunate experience of knowing somebody who's gotten into trouble with addiction and with drugs. And, and I hope that um, all of you will try and pay attention to how you can protect yourself from those things. As a physician, um, I see um, young children, teenagers, young adults all the time. And one of the things I always do is I ask them about their health habits. Do they exercise? Do they eat healthy? Do they avoid smoking cigarettes? Are they careful about abuse of alcohol and drugs? I ask them about sex. And, and I hope that all of you are getting um, the same kind of attention from your own family doctors when you see them. And I hope you'll be really honest with them because um, if you're having worries or issues or concerns, about any of those kinds of things. Your family doctor is the person that you can turn to for some help and it's some advice. And, and I know your parents are also very supportive around all of that. But sometimes it's hard to talk to your parents about it, but I think you can have an honest conversation with your doctor and I hope that all of you will do that in the future. Um, I know also that sometimes um, teenagers and young adults feel a lot of peer pressure around issues like the ones I just mentioned, whether it's um, alcohol or drugs. And, and I hope that many of you can resist those kinds of pressures when you know it's not the right thing to do. Um, oftentimes there's this uh, misconception that um, because a, a drug that might be offered to you is a prescription drug, that that's not the same thing as taking street drugs. Well, prescription drugs, when they're not used the way they're intended to be used by a prescription for your doctor, can be just as dangerous as using drugs that you buy on a street corner. So I want to caution all of you against that. Also, as the speaker said, some of you who are athletes might have injuries and you might have pain medicine prescribed to you, maybe after an injury or after a surgery, and I would caution you um, to be sure that you um, keep those medicines safe, that if you do need to use some pain medicine for a few days, um, that you store it somewhere where um, a little brother or a little sister won't accidentally get into it. Um, be, don't share your medicines with other people because that can be very dangerous. A medicine that's prescribed for you is specific to you and somebody else who takes it may have a condition that would make that medicine dangerous for them. So those are some of the kinds of things that I want you to think about with respect to how you can keep yourselves healthy today and in the future and how you can all be so successful in your lives. Um, I know you're all getting off to a great start in this school and, um, and I'm sure that there's a bright future out there for all of you.